been a really long time and I know you guys are probably wanting one so I decided I was going to vlog today um yeah so you're getting a vlog so it is 8.02 in the morning 68 degrees um so I'm headed to go get my sister and then to go get Gary um some rattling in the back seat because there's that thing back there that I didn't get out of the car before I left. It's from my parents' house. It's going to go in the family room above the slider. Anyway, so um, I'm going to go get Gary and take him to go get his ID. He doesn't have a driver's license because he doesn't have a car. He doesn't own a car. But his ID expired, so he needs to get a new one. So we're gonna drive him there, and um, yeah, and then take him and go cash his his uh, stimulus checks and yeah, and a couple other things that we need to take care of concerning my parents. Yada yada yada, fun stuff. And eventually, we need to declutter that house. And I don't know. I'm not in the mood with since I'm decluttering my own house. And I just don't want to. <laughs> what can I say? Anyway, that's what I'm doing today. Fun stuff. I did get my hair cut. I guess it's not looking too bad in the camera. But I haven't been happy with it. I don't know. I think I got it cut too short. And before I got it cut, I snipped right here because it was way too long and stuff. And that made it look funky. It's a little short. Super curly. I swear. The older I get, the curlier my hair is. It is crazy. I, I mean, look. Look at all those curls. I used to have straight hair, like my sister's. So, it's crazy. It used to be straight as a pin. So, why am I feeling ants biting me? In my car. Ants. Lovely. And to be honest, I am not feeling very well. I woke up with a headache at 3.30 this morning. I just took some more, um... Ibuprofen. I know you're not supposed to take that, but the only thing that helps my headache. Anyway, so uh, just before I left, still have a headache. Took a shower. That didn't really help a little bit, but I don't know. I didn't. I was feeling kind of wonky yesterday, weak and tired. I started. I wanted this week to start doing a morning routine. I wanted to walk, do my weights. Um, I actually biked yesterday too, but only two miles. So I and I only walked a half a mile, and then I um, I took a shower, had a mas did a, my massage, which I did my massage, took a shower and did my massage this morning. But it was too early for me to take a walk to get up anyway, and um, and then I have a smoothie and oh and stretch, and so I did all those things yesterday. But then I just felt I, I did nothing the rest of the day. I just felt really weak and tired. I did manage to feel better after uh, making uh, dinner, or actually before dinner. I think I'm not eating enough protein. I don't know if that has something to do with it. I'm not really sure what's going on with me. Um, I, I don't know. It seems like I am feel good, feel good one day, which is, which is good. Why I have my clean, one and done cleaning routine because it's like every other day. Um, it feels like I'm productive one day and then not the next because I'm just not feeling it. Sometimes I'm just lazy. Well, I don't feel like it. I claimed yesterday I don't feel like it. But other days I actually is just not feeling it. So that's why that routine works. And I don't know sure what I wanted to do. I, I was going to do a walk, a walk 30 day challenge next month. Uh, I don't think I'm going to do that. I think I'm going to walk, but... I think I'll wait till April so more of you can join. Um, I got a lot of things going on in my head. I'm thinking of getting rid of Facebook, y'all. I'm not getting a lot of interaction in there. And I have several pages. I have the My Everyday Way Five page. I have the Clean Eating page, which, yeah, I don't even post on there. The Walk 30 Days Challenge, the Walk Water Sunshine page. And then the decluttering page. That's just way too much to keep up with. And to be honest with you, I'm getting really pissed at Facebook. It's just ridiculous. You can't post anything. Not that I really post anything 
that is political. I don't post anything that's political. But other things that's just an opinion. I was in a couple of groups that I'm in. I got flagged. Like, seriously? For this? Anyway, I'm just annoyed with them. But you know what? If you don't know, Instagram is owned by Facebook. But anyway, <laughs> I think I might go ahead and get rid of Facebook. So if you follow me on Facebook, you might want to go ahead and follow me on Instagram. Um, I will be keeping that for now. Uh, for probably. I'm not ready to give that up. I really do like it. Um, so I think I might be getting rid of Facebook. And then, then, of course, also, too, what I would like to do is just eventually get rid of Instagram and just do my YouTube community page. If you don't know what I'm talking about, just go, you can access it both from your, from your phone, your iPad and your computer. You just scroll over at the top and it will say home videos, playlist, community, click the community page. And it'll be posts like I do on um, Instagram and Facebook. And I pretty much do daily posts there. Um, and then you can comment. And sometimes I'll take do a poll, like I recently did a poll and said, what kind of videos would you like to see in March? So there's that. So I'll make sure you check out that um, community tab on YouTube or follow me on Instagram at My Everyday Wife Life. And I'm turning here to go pick up my sister and to go get Gary. Okay. So, done. I was going to go to the um, grocery store on the way home. Yeah, I stopped by Chick-fil-A. I was starving and I have, my headache is worse. And then I thought, well, if I eat something, I'll feel better. Yeah, no. I can't, I can't, I can't go in the store, so it's that bad. I want to take my glasses off because oh my head is just killing me so it is 12 13 point vlog <laughs> I'm just gonna go home and take a nap and um, if I do something interesting <laughs> I will film the rest of the day so I can get rid of the headache. But it's not happening. Since it's 4 o'clock this morning. That's 8 hours. Headache. Ugh. This is a bad one today. Okay guys, yes, dirty clothes on the, on the floor. I just woke up from a nap a little bit ago. And um, I put some clothes in the dryer. I had to charge my phone, so I cleaned up the kitchen. It is 6.30. Cleaned up the kitchen, and um, I got dinner in the oven. There's that sausage and chicken, and I'm gonna make some roasted veggies. So, all right, what else was I doing? I have to put Valentine's stuff away. I feel much better. I took a big, huge nap. Um, obviously, I think I've been up half hour, hour at the most. And, um, yeah. So, I started making my grocery list for, um, tomorrow I need to go grocery. So, this is going to be a two-day vlog. Um, so, yeah. Uh, so that's what I'm having tonight. I don't know what I'm going to have the next, the rest of the week. Um, I need to finish, finish making my list here. And I need to clean out my freezer. It got messy. So that needs to be done. I need to reorganize it. And this company sent this bread and I supposed to be doing a video on it. It's called Simple Needs. And this is quinoa bread. I haven't tried that one. I tried the sourdough and the pumpkin nickel bread. Very good. Highly recommend that gluten-free bread. And I will do a review. I have been recording what I've been eating and with the bread, yada, yada, yada. I'll get, I'll get that. I have been posting on Instagram. So make sure you follow me on Instagram, like I said. My garbage needs to go out. 
So let's see what we need in here. Not a whole lot. So update on my pepper pranche sort of kind of. It's not really a pepper pepper pantry. We keep very little in here because we eat mostly from the refrigerator. In fact, all this stuff. I don't know. I might give it to Gary. No, well, it says July 22, so it's good. Um, cause you know, hurricane season will be here soon enough. So Abby doesn't really eat these anymore, but we'll keep them for an emergency. I got plenty of, there's chicken broth back there and vegetable broth and beef broth. Two, three things of mayonnaise cause it was on sale. Um, plenty of ketchup, barbecue sauce, mustard. Not really using barbecue sauce anymore because it bothers Bob. Plenty of salad dressing. Haven't even been really eating the oatmeal um, or the cereal. Have you stopped eating that? Is this, you know, I should eat that. I need some more options for um, breakfast. I think my problem this morning was I didn't eat. Part of the problem was that. And then Hubby requested some more of his coffee sticks, as he calls them. They're the Noni's salted caramel biscotti. So, um, yeah, I'll get some more of those. And I don't think I need anything as far as, yeah, I got peanut butter. Yeah, I don't even know if these are any good. They look yucky. I don't know. You know, usually when I use marshmallows, I buy a new thing. They look yellow. Don't they look yellow? Mm, I, I, I'll still, you know, I, I, I use that for a declutter. <laughs> when I declutter. And then I have Ziploc bags down there. And I don't have any... I have backup juice and Pop-Tarts for Hubby and peanuts. So I need some more peanuts and, of course, Pringles for Hubby. I got plenty of chips. And these are from, oh, look at all these chips. Those are from Chili's. We eat out at Chili's once a week. That's just our favorite place to eat. And you get a free bag of chips. So, uh, and plenty of chips for tacos and nachos and nut taco shells. Plenty of um, spaghetti sauce stuff. Gluten-free pasta. I might need a couple more canned veggies. See one, two, three, four, five. We do use the corn and the green beans. That is something we'll we'll eat, even though I try to stock it for hurricane season. And yeah, I think I have plenty of that stuff. I just made orange chipotle chicken uh, Saturday, Sunday, Sunday, and it made four servings of extras. I like that. Hubby does not. I'll eat it. I had it for lunch today, um, after Chick-fil-A, that was my breakfast, <laughs> and beans, uh, it looks like I have enough beans, and then tomatoes, and I don't know that I need, oh, you know what I need, I should put this over here, because I'm forgetting that, so this is my gluten-free pizza crust, which I have some already made in the freezer, and then the, um, almond milk artisan, almond milk, almond flour artisan bread, so, I looks like I could use some um, more of the um, seeds of chain rice and regular rice. So, I need to write down rice. Uh, I didn't know. That's, that looks like it. What, did tell what else did I say? I don't... Um, nuts, Pringles, biscotti... I think I, I think that. Oh, and I need some carrot juice for my um, smoothies. Um, biscotti. Or whatever however you pronounce it. Nuts. I want the honey roasted. And Pringles. And of course my almond milk. Um, I'll see what else I need. So these are my Valentine's flowers that I gave to myself. I think. Did I buy them before Valentine's Day? They're looking a little sad. Yeah, but they, that was a beautiful bouquet. And it's only been two weeks. Pretty good. Yeah. They're looking kind of sad. Maybe I'll buy a new thing of flowers when I... We'll see. When I go out tomorrow. I should clean that desk up. I should do a lot of things. Yeah. Okay. Uh, first things first, I never finished my green smoothie. Was that this morning? 
That was yesterday's green smoothie. And I didn't finish the smoothie before. So I show you all, yeah, that's gonna go. <laughs> I show you all I'm making a green smoothie and I don't always finish it. So I think I'll finish that now. Anyway. Um, what do I got for vegetables? Not a whole lot. Mushrooms, carrots, broccoli. We'll do that for, um, and some potatoes for, um, roasted vegetables. And those are ooey, and so is some broccoli that I took out of here. I need to wipe this out real quick. And it looks like something is spilt underneath there. Can you see it? Something yellow. Okay, I wipe behind there out, and all this out here. And I need some eggs, so I need to write that on the list. And there's one thing of orange chipotle chicken left. I can have that tomorrow for lunch. I need to put the juice in that container. I need to drink this while I'm making the vegetables. And then that was left over from last night, so I'm going to eat that. Hope he doesn't really like sweet potatoes. Okay, a little update on the kitchen. If Have you been following my decluttering videos? So I had a divider thingy in here, but I decided it was made more room without it. So I lined it like I lined the other drawers a while back ago, a year or more ago, and just put my knives in there and stuff. And uh, this thing, it, I bought it and it was too small and then I never took it back. So I just added some kind of, this thing is a filter. I don't know, I probably don't even need it. And so I added some double-sided sticky tape to the end of that so that it would fit the drawer. I should have bought a bigger one or I should have returned it, but I didn't. I'm gonna use this barbecue thing. I'm gonna quit use barbecue. I might could get rid of that. Yeah, so there's that. And then in the spice cabinet, if you're watching, Sorry, my alarm went off, so you know that the two top were empty. Well, I moved up some stuff that I don't use all the time. And then this cooking um, magazines, cream magazine was over there. And I'm like, I don't need that there. In fact, I need to, might get rid of this, but I'm not ready to. I got rid of all my cookbooks years ago. I don't use cookbooks. I just look it up online, but I don't know. I might start using them. <laughs> I'm not, I, it's okay. I got rid of all my cookbooks. It's all right to keep a little bit. So then I straightened all this up. And I do need some, oh, I'll, I need some more avocado oil and olive oil. So I need to write that on the list. Do it now, right now, Michelle, before I forget. And I need some more command hooks. I'm going to hang up my um, spoons and um, some more measuring cups. These are all the measuring cups I had. I used to have like a ton of measuring cups. And I'm like, why? I don't really even use it often. So, and then of course I have these cute little measuring cups down there. So there's that. What else did I do? So I put the divider thing. This is what I was using for the knife and I put it over here where I keep my um, tin foil, aluminum foil, excuse me, aluminum foil, parchment paper. And these are my freezer Ziploc bags. I didn't want to mix them. The rest of my Ziploc bags are in the cupboard and I take them out of the packaging. It's just easier. I seen Sherry from, what's her name of her channel now? Simply Sherry, she used to, used to be a Love Live Latte like a long time ago. And then of course, more shelf paper here um, in case I need it. So that's how that's going to be for now. So I made use of reused, um, the, I don't know, organizer. <laughs> talked about I believe in my um decluttering video I don't really keep that many spices in here and then these two spices I got from Marshall's and I'll just use those up and when those are gone I'll buy some more so this is just what I'm going to be currently using now and yeah I don't really have that I feel like I don't really have that many 
And I need some more onions and potatoes. I have to play back the video just so I can remember. I needed olive oil, avocado oil, because I don't have any backups. I need potatoes and onions. And what else did I say, guys? Hmm. All right, that should be done in like 20 minutes. So what can I do? I'll clean up this mess, maybe. I do want to refresh this. I actually got some new, I don't know, let me turn the light on, it's dark in here. I forgot where I put them in here even. So, let me turn on another light. Um, I got these pillowcase. They're not exactly the color that I wanted. I wanted more of a sage green. Actually, that's how they're coming off on camera. But you can see the difference. This is actually green, like a mossy sage green. And, but whatever, they'll, um, for spring, change those out. So, and you know, I wanna change this out. And um, I don't know, I might do that for another video, but let me clean, let me do a quick clean in here and vacuum. good enough i'll do the rest dust and all that kind of stuff and take down the valentine stuff tomorrow it might be another video this is a fail i told y'all so those of you who sent me christmas cards i was going to send you valentine cards and, and, and one of a uh, uh, thingy yeah i guess y'all get easter cards because that was a fail i might go ahead and send the belated valentine's along with it we'll see so that's something i need to work on i'm just terrible about stuff like that i have good intentions and then it never happens and i never finish things so i started my poof over here or the um chair over there so i talked about that before yeah it's still sitting there i got all excited and started um doing that and look i can see it needs cleaned and there's like yes squirrel a layer of that's not dust it's pollen because we had the house opened up and it's pollen season so that all needs to be cleaned so yeah this is my life okay so i think i have time to fold a thing of laundry and put another load in so that's what i'm gonna do So I did the whole cook once eat twice thing. So there'll be enough for tomorrow, <laughs> maybe the next day. So I probably won't eat the sausages because they're not chicken sausage. I'll just have one piece of that and some veggies and there's plenty left over for tomorrow. I, did, I haven't been doing that lately, but I did that do that with the orange chipotle chicken. Again, I'll put the recipe down below. Let me know if you've tried the orange chipotle chicken and how you like that. It's from Clean Eating Magazine. So. Um, not my recipe. Uh, I really like it. Javi's like, eh. I think he actually liked it this time. I'm not sure why he liked it. But anyway, so I'm going to eat. And I think that'll be it for today. And I'll pick up tomorrow. And um, go take you to the grocery store with me. Show you my food haul. Well, I don't know. We'll just see. Never the one to write up a song for just anyone. I, I well, good morning. Rise and shine. Okay.
Okay, I'm dressed. So we get to stay started, guys. Let's go. This is a good a day as any to start the rebuilding of life. The roads that lay open are many. When the old one's gone under the knife And I can feel the sun on my skin Beginning to thaw from within To I just made the bed and, <laughs> and I was taking the blanket because he's, it's a little chilly this morning, so he's going on the patio to work. All right, so I'm I started folding my um, sweaters. It's not very neat, so um, instead of, and hanging them up, well, at least the ones that I'm wearing right now, I don't know, just seems like it's a little easier. And it's dark in here. <laughs> you guys can't see. And I didn't turn the light on. Anyway, so, yeah. That's a little, yeah, that was a warm-up. That's a workout. Can I count that? I gotta put that in the laundry room. Back in my beach bag. And, um, I'm going to wear this. And find my sneakers. And, uh, go for my walk this morning. And lift weights and that. I got some water. Yeah, I can find my shoes. All right, so I did some more laundry last night. I didn't record that before I went to bed. I went to bed late because I took a long nap. Oh, I, I, I spot my shoes in the other room. So I got that set up in here for to um, stretch after my um, walk. All right, let's not forget to take my thyroid pill. I'll take my morning vitamins later. Okay, y'all, I'm still staggering with the water thing. So I'm starting to force myself to drink a whole glass of water. I know it's not a whole glass today, but I do in my bottle of water whenever I take my pills, which is three times a day, four times a day. That's four glasses of water. I'm not exactly doing that, but that's what I'm trying to do. So yeah, I'll have glass. Right, let's go for a walk. The patio needs cleaned. I don't know if that'll happen today. I'm just I'm just concentrating on my um morning routine. I think in this video. My sister and her husband are coming over today to trim my yard. I think my lawn needs mowed. Yikes. Um yeah. They're gonna edge and trim it and trim all the trees for me. Um they need trimmed again. Seems like I just did them too. So, all right, gonna go for a short walk. I think I'm gonna go that way because the garbage man is, I don't know. We'll see that way. All right, now I can walk down that little road and do my weights and then massager. I don't. No, if I'll take a shower because I might do some yard work today. Um, I'll do my massager, make a green smoothie, yada yada yada. Oh, and stretch. It is noisy this morning. Now there's an airplane flying above. Okay, yeah, listen to my own advice and um, it's just out of coincidence yesterday I didn't get to do my morning routine um, and maybe I just have a different morning routine on Tuesdays and Thursdays yeah so Monday Wednesday Friday do this solid <laughs> morning routine uh, make the bed go for a walk do my weights stretch massage smoothie boom done so um yeah, and maybe on Tuesdays and Thursdays, I just give myself a break. Yep. And 
maybe eventually I could work in that. Kind of need like every other day off. I, I've, I've already talked to you about that. Yeah, so baby steps and uh, something is better than nothing, right? Oh, I'm, I'm not a spring chicken anymore. I'm following Heidi over at um, Heidi Sambo and she's got a weight loss channel now, but <clears throat> she's like 40. So she's like 16 years younger than me. I think she's 40 or she's just turning 40 or something like that. So, um, yeah, go watch her. She's definitely very motivating, but I think most of the people who watch my channel are uh, my age. I don't know, I guess some of you are 40-ish, 45. Let me know in the comments below. I mean, you don't have to share your age if you don't want to, but, but YouTube analytics tells me most of you are 40 to 65 or 45 to 65 I think that's what it's saying so yeah I don't have to occasionally I'll have the 30 to 35 age group or whatever that is anyway yeah and sometimes when you have a flan flan well sometimes when you have a plan and you map it out on paper or in your head um it's not going to go exactly that until you start it and you're like you know what this will work better and i think that will work better plus if i need to have an early appointment because you know i'm terrible about um late even later in the afternoon appointments it's better for me to just get it out of the way then i can make that on tuesdays and thursdays and get it out of the way so i can get on with my rest of the day so it's not hanging over my head that whole hanging and over my head thing. Let me know in the comments below. Raise your head. Raise your hand if you have that problem with not getting anything done because you have a certain something hanging over your head. Yeah. Get your stuff done. Get your SHIT done in the morning. <laughs> I'm working on it. It's part of the whole anti procrastination thing problem that I have. I inherited that from my father. That's all I'm going to say about that. All right decided to go for a quick bike ride maybe just a mile or two yeah other stuff to do today hey. <laughs> my sister's here and doing the her and husband are doing the lawn for me um i'm gonna stretch okay just like 10 minutes of stretching i forgot i need to do my weights i usually do that first so i'm gonna do that now just like five minutes and they're just five pound weights different curls and raise over my head and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. smoothie I don't know I don't have a lot I need to go to the grocery store so I have kale spinach usually I put a banana but I have none so I'm going to use an apple and some pineapple some ginger cucumber and lemon I'm gonna get a lemon the skin and everything if you use the I, I suggest you use the organics I don't know if this is organic or not mm. If you're gonna use the peel, then um, I would suggest using the organic. Uh, the peel has some great things in it and some chia seeds. I need to buy some flaxseed. I usually put carrot juice in there, but I don't have any. I don't think I'll do this coconut um, blend juice for hubby. I don't think he's gonna like it. That's, I've not I tried that yet. So that's a, a um, trial and error thing let's see how this works oh and here is a tip too when you're cutting lemon cut them on the inside up because i was cutting them with the skin side up and then all the juice gets out of it when you do that so because you're squishing it so it's better Give that taste Yeah, that's not bad. I put some water in it too. I mean, I'm not doing chia seeds today. My sister said to use flax seeds it's better. It has omega threes and they're really good for you for some reason. I don't know, look it up. <laughs> All right, I added a little bit more pineapple, a little bit more coconut. Um, 
blend, whatever that is. Coconut, grape, white grape, coconut milk, and other ingredients. What are the other ingredients? <laughs> I need to remember to read the labels. All right, lemon juice, locust bean. Okay, I want his now. He's gonna have his later, so I'm gonna put it there. He's drinking his coffee right now. But mine, these big mason jars. Okay, and there's mine. I just need a straw, clean up this mess. Yes, it makes a mess. I really should do like two days worth, so I don't have to do it the next day. But any more than that, it starts to turn brown and yuck and yeah, so. And I'm not gonna drink this all right now. I'm drinking and gonna drink some of it now and then um, throughout the day. I think I'm gonna make myself some gluten-free peanut butter toast. Yeah, I really feel like I need a banana. I gotta get to the store. <music> So I'm having some um, organic peanut butter. It is just, um, I believe it's just peanuts and maybe salt. What's it say? Dry roast of peanuts and salt. That's it. No sugar in it. Having my green smoothie. Um, some of that and I'll put one, uh, probably half of it and the rest I'll put in the fridge and drink it for later. Right, I'm going to get my massager. Okay, guys. Um, okay, hold on cat hair on my pants anyway so that i think that's it for this vlog um because i want to edit it and um post this for you today so um i just wanted to show my morning routine i wanted to do that yesterday but you saw what happened so um yeah so this i don't i don't have a morning routine i'm going to establish one so um i was thinking on my walk that Y'all know I'm consistently inconsistent. So don't mind me. I'm a hot mess. So, you know, if you follow me for uh, any length of time, you know I'm consistently inconsistent. So I don't usually do anything um, lovely. Yes, I'm getting old. Um, that I don't do things consistently. But I will do something consistently. Maybe not the same thing, but I'm always doing something. So there's that. <laughs> Can I make a quote out of that? How, how would I say that? I am. Well, I thought about it on the walk. And now I can't remember what it is. Anyway, follow me on Instagram. I'm sure I'll think of something. So if you want that massager, I highly recommend it. It helps if you have fibromyalgia, any chronic pain. Um, two YouTubers bought it and they love it. Um, a friend of mine bought one for her and her daughter. They both love it. It really helps with chronic pain. I use it every morning, get the circulation going. And um, yeah, so I'm, I still have a bunch of stuff to do. Um, I think I have a chiropractor this afternoon. I got to check. I think I have a chiropractor appointment. I gotta do laundry and do my chores and stuff, but I want to try start doing a routine. And this was better than Monday when I did my routine. It took me till like one o'clock, <laughs> and I think it's like nine thirty. So good. Got up. I think probably making the bed is key. I wasn't really gonna make that part of my morning routine. It was more about exercise and stuff. But I think that that should be on my list. And then that's one thing I can check off my list. All right, so. Yeah, check out the link below for the massager. Um, I will be doing a review on the um, uh, bread soon. And I have an applesauce. Would y'all want that on Friday? I have an applesauce recipe. I made homemade applesauce because I had an abundance of apples. And um, I need to go to the grocery store. And, oh yeah, I'm still doing... Um, well, I paused Misfits Market, but I just... Um, went ahead and, um, ordered, I think for a month I paused it. So I'm going to get my, my first order. I get my first order, the next order, March, well, next week, next Tuesday, Monday. Yeah. But they had the Elmhurst, um, almond milk on sale. Actually, they didn't have the almond milk on sale. 
they had the walnut milk and it was $1.99. You guys, it's regularly $4.99. Um, and I didn't get that because I don't really like the walnut milk. But they also had the oat milk. They didn't have the almond milk. But they had the hazelnut milk, which I do not see at um, Publix anymore at all. So, um, I got that in addition because they have stuff you can add on. Um... So that was only $3.99 for the hazelnut milk. So yeah, you saved a dollar there. I think I got four things of that. Plus a chocolate oat milk. I wanted to try that one. And so I'll hopefully have a haul for you for that. Um, so if you want to try out Misfits Market, the link will be down below in the description. I'm going to start that up again. I think every... You can pause it. I think... It, I was getting it every other week. And I just wasn't making use of it. So, um, I don't know. I need to rethink that. I think I'm I'm good now. Um, I don't know. I might just do it once a month. And, yeah, so I'm going to have to pause the next one. And uh, they let you do that. So, anyway, I think that'll work out better. We'll see. I might try to if make better use of things. So sometimes they were sending stuff that I, I wouldn't normally use and then it would go to waste. And yeah, my sister's real good about using up everything that they send her. She gets it every other week. So um, yeah. All right. Until next time, guys. Enjoy your day. If you like this video, I would love for you to give me a thumbs up. And if you're new to my channel, I would love to have you subscribe. Just click my face right there. And if you're already subscribed, let me know if you like this video. And if you would like to see more like this. I haven't done this in a while. And uh, I'll see you next time.